Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Girl Engineer where I make videos about engineering, studying abroad and some daily vlogs. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Google Data Analytics course on Coursera. So I have been taking this Coursera uh, Google Data Analytics course from Google for like it's been like one month now and I have already completed three parts of their course like they have eight parts of course which is required for data analytics and from that I have been taking uh, like I have completed my three parts of the course and I feel it's a great course because uh, nowadays data analytics job or the domain uh, is also quite important and it's been in demand because we get data every single day every single day the vast amount of data is stored in every single company so what should they do from this data that is taught from this course and that is the reason why there's a huge demand for this data analytics course so like in every different country the salary amount a salary range is different but uh, the skills that is required for the d uh, data analytics, analytics is analyst or data analytics what we call is actually the same thing so for the data analytics uh, domain you basically need to be good at sql excel python or r or some of the uh, tools like power bi tableau looker so these these are some of the tools that is required to be a data analyst so apart from this uh, we need to be a quick thinker we have to be a problem solver we have to have good logical thinking these are all the other required things that is required for the data analyst so in this google course um, like i said there are eight sections of this course so each section has been divided into a phase that is required to be a data analyst suppose i'll just give a small example so being a data analyst you have to ask questions to people like the your stakeholders or your managers and everyone you have to then gather the data you have to process it you have to like if there's unnecessary data or unwanted data or there are blank data you have to deal with that then you have to create the visualization of it then you have to share those uh, visualization to your stakeholders or the business person who has asked you to like come to a conclusion based on the data they have so why this data is required so, uh, in for the stakeholders or for managers or for anyone so the main reason behind that is uh, so to give the real time examples you all go for a walk every day for example okay just considering that you all go for a walk every day so you keep an analysis right that how many steps you have count uh, taken every single day so or how many calories have been burned so based on that you calculate something and then you come to a conclusion right so in the same way uh, in big big businesses they'll come to a conclusion based on the data suppose they have to advertise something so they'll first find out who all are their target audience like to whom they should sell this uh, advertisement to to get to promote their ads or to promote their product and then based on their interest the person or customer will buy their product so to get the analysis of that or analysis of this whole scenario a person has to come to a conclusion based on the data like the gather data from that who all are the interested people from that which people are interested in buying the product we have to find out that which in which area the much requirement of the data is available so all that information has to be gathered so for that reason data analysts are quite important and one more thing I can say is like a person who is not that interested in coding or want to wanna be a programmer, if that person is not sort, that sort of person, then too they can go for this uh, data analyst course because uh, being a data analyst, you don't have to be a hi-fi programmer. That is basically required for a person who wants to develop softwares, apps and everything like that. So being an analyst is going to be a very interesting job because if you're much interested in giving the visualization, if you're good at presenting things or good at storytelling, then data analyst is a job for you. So you can go for it. You can also improve your uh, career skills. You can also improve your communication skills, presentation skills and everything. So basically this whole Google data analyst analytics course is going to help you in creating your account on LinkedIn, growing your network, getting mentorship, getting sponsors, getting to know about the complete knowledge that is required to be a data analyst. Like 
if you are entering into a new thing then you can just uh, take this course and uh, this video is not at all sponsored by any of them <laughs> so don't worry about that it is my personal experience what i'm sharing with you all and uh, also what you can do is like by taking this course the google has some like after you complete the whole project it has a capstone project like the, uh, by doing that project you can add that to your resume or your portfolio and you can share it with the hiring managers and you can get a job so that is one opportunity that this course is providing and also based on your scores and everything this course has like tie ups i can say with many companies like it might be accenture capgemini google like they also provide help in recruiting you people so if you are someone looking for these easy steps then you can just uh, sign up or enroll for this course and it's like basically it's said that you might require 6 months to complete the course because if you are like giving 10 hours a week for this course then you can complete it in 6 months but if you have time a lot of time you have like if you are sitting for every day like 3 uh, to 4 hours then i guess you can complete it in like 2 or 3 months so it basically depends upon your speed how you manage to complete the course so this is my personal experience and i've been learning pretty good things and uh, it's helping me a lot i already knew sql and all those stuff but in um, taking this course has helped me to get to know about data how to how handle the data in an ethical way how to get the data and how to create a kaggle account how to access the data how to access public data and everything and uh, it also helps in creating your linkedin account how we have to be professional professional in on linkedin and everything and um, also like you are going to get to know about the complete process about the data analytics so if someone asks you like what do you know about this then you can just explain them from a to z of it because you are going to complete the whole course and one minus thing for someone of plus thing for someone is that it's going to be in r so you will get to learn a new programming language also if you are not uh, well aware of this language if you are a python lover like me then it's going to be a bit like uh, should we really go for that but yes i suggest that you do go for learning this course or getting enrolled in this course so that you get a lot of knowledge and then at last after completing the course you are going to get the certificate by showcasing the certification skills you can obviously get into some jobs and it's going to be a like junior data analyst job or business analyst job and everything and one more thing is like it's not necessary that you have to be completely in it or cs field anybody from any background can go into this uh, course because uh, data analyst is one such good course like where people can learn it from any backgrounds and get into a job and also like people from medical background sports background or uh, financial background can also enroll into this field and they'll actually excel more in their fields because the positive thing about this is if it, a person is from financial background and he or she gets enrolled into this course then the plus point is that they'll uh, get to become a financial analyst of their own domain they can use this analytic skills into their field and they can like upgrade their career level so if it is someone from healthcare they can use it for the healthcare domain so it's like everybody from any domain can get enrolled into this course and can learn good things so yes even i am on the road map of completing it so once i complete the whole course i'll let you know what happens and how i have completed my whole experience but so far till now i feel it's a good course and um, it's worth taking and in india i guess for this subscription for per month you have to pay 1021 uh, not indian rupees so i guess it's not a huge amount because like people spend money on so many things and it's a good course that from coursera it's well known recognized and if you have much time then you can also complete it in two months or one month or it depends upon you so it basically depends how you manage to get it and uh, how you are fast enough to grasp the things and complete it so if you're utilizing 1021 rupees for per month or two months and you complete the course then that's a good benefit for you So yes I suppose that if you're looking for this domain then I think you should just get enrolled in this course 
so yes that's it for today's video if you have liked my video then please do hit that like button share it with your friends and also please please do subscribe to my channel so because i get motivation to upload more and more videos and i have seen like my google analytics is saying me that most of the people watch the video but they don't subscribe so please do subscribe to my channel have a good day have a happy learning bye